Hello, YouTubers. Mike Thomas here. I'm a real estate agent in Palm Beach County, Florida. I just wanted to give you my insight about what's going on in the real estate market. First of all, I look at these national numbers all the time. And real estate is very local. And a national number to me means absolutely nothing. And the reason for that is, is because you're comparing a state like Idaho to California. So you have your states that are not um, that prominent in real estate or doesn't don't have very many jumps or is down, you know, um, states where not a lot of people are migrating to, um, like Wyoming, Idaho, Louisiana, Kansas, Oklahoma, those types of states where your midwestern states and then you have your states where all the population is or a lot of the population you have california oregon washington state and then you have new york new jersey pennsylvania those heavy populated areas all the way down to florida and a lot of people live on the coastlines so when you compare a state on a national average you're going to have these states that are very high priced real estate to those that are not very high priced real estate. And if you compared right now, if you took the average of California and Idaho, uh, it's going to bring up the real estate for Idaho and it's going to bring down the real estate for, for California because California is dragging um, or California is actually increasing Idaho's prices by the average if you compare the two and vice versa. So it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever, but this is something interesting you might wanna see. So on CNBC right up here, um, I'm looking at home sales decline, shows the worst and an anticipated housing recession. So I'm thinking, okay, they're saying that a housing recession is, is here. But if you look on the same website in January, it says new home sales fail short of expectations down 6.9%, so almost 7%. So I hear these negative numbers, but yet April comes along and says new home sales, April, come in much greater than expected. So April is strong. Then in June, right here, it says existing home sales jump 20.7%. Oh my God, what a huge increase. And now the real estate market is, you know, oh my God, we're going into a recession. So I'm scratching my head going, you have no idea what you're talking about. You've been saying that we're gonna go into a recession for at least four or five years. And this is all on the same website. I know that some people have different opinions, different websites, but it should be consistent. You know, how are you gonna tell us in January that the market is falling apart in April saying that the market is better than expected. In June, it's it's way high. And here come July and August and we're in a recession. So my question is, is what are we? I'm confused, aren't you? So I wanna go over some numbers that I created myself in my area. Oops, let's see here. Let me share the screen again. In my area, just to show you, uh, where we are. So I did some numbers in Broward County. This comes from our local board of realtors. They give us these numbers all the time, which are the medium sales, the medium sales prices of homes. So it's not the high, it's not the low. They kind of take the bell curve and, and look at the middle. Well, that's what medium means, uh, price. So you get these multi-million dollar homes that are just way off base and these, you know, dirt cheap properties that are, you know, in an area or location that's, you know, could be a mobile home or manufactured home or something. They take all of that out and they look at what's in the middle, not the entire bell curve. They take, you know, maybe 90% of it and they look at the medium price homes. So what does this mean? Well, well, I have SF stands for single family, TH and condo means townhouse and condos. And these are 
the numbers. And what I did is I asked for a change. What's the difference over last year or last month? So this goes from month to month to month. If you look at a uh, single family for Broward County, it went from 500,000 medium sales price to 519, 545, 560, 587, 590, 600. So what does that mean? The market's going up. In January, the medium sales price was 500. In July, it's 600,000. That's $100,000 more for a single family home if you would have bought in January versus July. Uh, same thing here with uh, townhouses, you have 240, state level at 240, went to 238, which is a $1,500 drop. Then it jumps to uh, 245, uh, 253, 265, 265. So all in all, the actual equity is $29,000. So if you took all of these numbers and you added them all together, you come up with $29,000 year to date. So this is the average medium price year to date. The average medium sales price for a townhouse and condo year to date. And your equity, if you would have bought in the beginning of the year versus at the end or in July. And this is only seven months later. So this is Broward County. I made a little graph. Uh, this is what it looks like. And I'm not seeing any drops. It's not spiking or going crazy like I see in all these other videos, because I think a lot of these videos tend to scare people in what the real estate market is or bunches up these national averages uh, when real estate is actually very local. Here in my neck of the woods, I saw a, uh, we're, we're in Palm Beach County right now, I'm sorry, um, down here at Palm Beach, Palm Beach County, and um, medium uh, home prices in Palm Beach County, uh, January was 526.5, 535, 541, I uh, jumped to 601,000, 615, 620. So they were going up. July, you know, I always say this, one bad month does not, does not make a recession. So when you have a bad month, you have a bad month. What, what am I gonna tell you? Um, I'm gonna take a look at August and September and of August and September numbers start to go down. I'm gonna start to get worried because when the market goes down in Palm Beach County, $20,000, I'm gonna, it's gonna raise an eyebrow for me going, hmm, you should keep your eye on that, Mike. You need to look at it. If August is down, it's gonna raise my other eyebrow and say, hey, what's going on? We're down two months in a row. If we're down three months consecutively in a row, then I look at it as a downward trend for this county alone, not for Martin County, not for Broward County or Miami-Dade County, or even Port St. Lucie County. Uh, but stick with me to the end of this video because I got some really great news on uh, Port St. Lucie. Uh, you'll be really surprised of the numbers uh, for them. Anyway, so this is what I'm looking at uh, for single family homes. We were down $20,000 over uh, between June and July. And we were down $21,223 um, from June to July in townhouses and condominiums. So that's the change. But if you look at it all in all, you're still up $75,000 if you would have bought at the beginning of the year versus July. And you're still up 20000 almost $28,000 or so if you bought a condominium in January versus uh, July. So what does that mean? It looks pretty level. I see a small dip here, but nothing that is dramatic for me. Um, so real estate markets do move in a way. We have cycles here in Southeast Florida, and I'm sure that uh, other counties and places have the same cycle. As we move further, further to the north, we're looking at Martin County. And Martin County, for me, kind of bounces crazy 
but I can explain some of these numbers. Being down $46,000 um, on single family homes in one single month seems like a huge thing. But here's what happens. Most of the time people try to close by the end of the year. Why? To homestead it for the next year. If you close on a home before December 31st, before the end of the year, you get to homestead it the next day. Well, it has to be a couple months before they allow you to homestead it. But nevertheless, you don't have to wait an entire year. But if you close on a house on January 1, you have to wait an entire year, an entire year before you can homestead it because you didn't buy that house in the previous year, which was in January 1st, it was yesterday. So that's why a lot of things, and what happens, just like anything else, retail has the low, lowest and slowest months when in January. Why? Because everybody bought stuff in Christmas time, they're broke. They spent all their money in December. So that's the logic and reason that I have for Martin County. Uh, Martin County to me is what I consider a rural, rural county, um, which means it's not very metro. It's not, I mean, it is growing. Don't get me wrong. Martin County is a great uh, place and I love Martin County. I've got nothing but love for Martin County. Um, I love their inlet and access uh, to the ocean. Uh, they port Salerno has a wonderful private airport that you can actually, if you want to fly and be a pilot and have a boat, Martin County is a great place to be. So don't get me wrong, I'm not harping on Martin County. I think Martin County is great. If you look at their numbers, you do see a difference here in single family homes. But it's not consistent here. This raised one of my eyebrow and I'm going, okay, I'm back to raising one eyebrow again. It's not consistent. It's not three months in a row and it's not really heavy. I see one here, one here, and then it jumps $37,000. And I'm going, wow. People actually did better buying a townhouse or condominium than they did a single family home. Why this is, honestly, I don't have any idea. Maybe because of this big, huge drop in January um, may have caused these numbers to swing a little to the left. But other than that, I'm not really worried about it because I'm not seeing a consistent three in a row. And that's what I look at. So kudos to Martin County. I think you're a great county. Um, next up I'm gonna talk about is Port St. Lucie County. This is what blows my mind. I was reading an article in what was it, US World and um, US World News, and it ranked Port St. Lucie County. Now there's hundreds of, of cities. There's hundreds of cities, and this is the city of Port St. Lucie. There's hundreds and hundreds of cities in Florida. They, Port St. Lucie ranked number eighth, number eighth best place to live in Florida. And I think on a whole United States, and there's many, many, <laughs> there's thousands and thousands of cities in the United States, maybe even hundreds of thousands. I don't know, I haven't counted them all. Um, but Port St. Lucie came in somewhere under 40 on the list. I think they were number 38. I think they were at number eight in Florida and number 38 in the United States of America. Oh my God. That is a very, very desired city to live in. So when I look at these numbers, I'm kind of flabbergasted. So I'm thinking, hmm, townhouses are down a lot, uh, 20,000, about a little over $20,000. But if you look at the average, you're still up for the end of the year. So if you bought in January, in July, you're still up almost $15,000. And these are the totals that I'm looking at. Once these numbers start going in the red, I start to get worried about, oh, the real estate market is coming down. And these are the indicators that I look at county by county, um, city by city. Um, we're now we're gonna come into Miami. 
Miami-Dade County. And again, it looks pretty steadily increased here. I mean, here it went up, it came down a little bit. You know, what's going on with Miami? Uh, I think a lot of people are who live in Miami, unless you're a millionaire or a billionaire and you have these huge estate homes on the water, uh, if you're not one of those people, which 99.9% .9 of the people aren't, um, I think you're they're tired of the congestion. You don't get a lot for your money in Miami because you're you're buying location. So here in Florida, you're buying a location, and if it comes with a house, that's a bonus. So the location, location, location. Nobody ever says house, house, house. That's ridiculous. Nobody ever says that. So it's location, location, location. Even though Miami has been down in townhouses and condominiums the second consecutive month in a row, they're still up $25,000 uh, year to date. And they're still up $45,000 um, year to date for single family homes. I love Miami. It's a great area. Um, there are some really great opportunities right now in Miami, especially towards the Florida Keys. I'm looking at maybe, you know, maybe investing in a property that's down in that area, still Miami-Dade County. Uh, I know that there's a lot of congestion, a lot of people there, but just like any other major metropolitan area, you're going to get a lot of people, you're going to get tra uh, traffic, you're going to get crowds, but you tend to find your back roads and what works for you, and you tend to travel a certain distance from where you live, and you're only going to probably go down into the Miami area, um, you know, from one of the other cities like Doral, uh, Florida City, Homestead, um, Pembroke Pines, those area, Weston, uh, when you when you have to or when you want to, when you want to go out and have a good time or, or shop or go out to eat or do, do those fun things. And it's a lifestyle. Miami is a great lifestyle to live and have. Uh, but once you've lived it, uh, some people are looking for something new. I don't know, it's always fun to me, but here in Jupiter, these are the numbers that I'm looking at. This is what I've done for those. Jupiter is way crazy. And it's a very, very desired air, uh, city in here in Palm Beach County. Um, I picked it because it has these enormous numbers that it deals with, but a lot of, you know, prominent celebrities live here in Jupiter, and which makes it a very desired area. Uh, it's kind of the hidden gem uh, of Palm Beach County. And even though it dropped a huge amount between June and July, uh, you also see huge gains as well. So nothing that worries me, even at the end of the year, if you bought a single family home, uh, year at the beginning of the year, year to date, you're up $170,000 um, for a condominium. This is an average price of the home. And I just did this to see if there was any difference, but you have your, your down months and you have your uh, up months. Actually, um, your up months are January, April, and June, uh, you're gonna tend to have some negative numbers. But that is the market report for uh, Southeast Florida, Miami-Dade County, Broward County, Palm Beach County, Martin County, St. Lucie County. Uh, these are all wonderful places to live here in South Florida. We have tropical climates. In fact, if you go out straight east 55 miles, you'll come to uh, Grand Bahama Island and Freeport, the Bahamas. So we have the same tropical climate as the Bahamas. The wonderful thing about Southeast Florida is we're on the Atlantic Ocean and we have um, the same weather as the Bahamas has, um, but we have better roads, better restaurants. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love the Bahamas. It's a great place to visit, but I'd rather live here in South Florida. Uh, personal preference, actually. <laughs> better schools, I have kids. All those wonderful things um, I think is important. So 
This is the market report for Palm Beach County, all or Southeast Florida, uh, all five counties. This is what I look at. This is the numbers I look at. I'm sure if I looked at other country or other states and their counties, these numbers would be totally different. And I don't know, Tampa may have similar numbers. They may have totally different numbers. I don't know Tampa or that market. Uh, even though I'm a real estate agent in Florida, my eye is on my neck of the woods and I can only report what's going on here. So with that said and done, um, I think that these numbers look strong. The year to date on just about everything is uh, all in the black, nothing's in the red. You know, you have a little, little dip here in Martin County uh, but a lot of people like to come to Martin County for the oceanfront condos, uh, and that could be an influence of that. Martin County is kind of a hidden gem. Uh, the taxes are very low uh, out of all five counties. Martin County seems to be the lowest. Sorry about that. I'll try to edit that out. Uh, but other than that, everything looks pretty strong down here in Southeast Florida. I don't see any any movement in the real estate market. I can't talk about recessions, things like that, but prices are up everywhere. And if you have any questions, comments, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe because I love subscribers. Uh, if you like what I say and you wanna tune in, wait till the next videos I have coming out that are gonna be absolutely fantastic on the real estate market. And I'll continue to update these videos and let you know what's going on here in Southeast Florida. Maybe you can compare it to where you live, maybe you can't, uh, it all depends, but I can give you my report or in my backyard of things that I see. So have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe uh, or click the like button if you like it, yes. Um, and I will see you at the next video.